Hello gamers, today we're building this. It's a Lego Minecraft uh, thing. My parents got it when they were on their trip recently. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna build it. So I'm bought it. She's like, oh, this is cool. You like Minecraft? And I'm like, yeah. So I figure, let's build it. So, we've got our instruction booklet here. Uh, let's see what we gotta do first. So, first it wants us to build the creeper. So, I'm gonna do what you always gotta do and open all the packages. Because uh, that's the key thing to do. You open every package, and then, well, all the packages are open. So, we're going to dump it all out, like this here on our table. Dump everything out. See what happens. Okay, so the first thing we need is this base. Uh, this here will be the base of our creeper. I don't know what part. Uh, next, we need a red block with a hole in it. And that goes here. Uh, now, three green bricks go around the red brick and then we have a little thing like this which goes into the hole in the brick um, so I guess that's that for now uh, okay so now we start with the blue piece here um, hmm what else is there? It needs those little gray things. Um, okay. These things it needs. These little pieces it's going to need. Okay. So these go through the holes in this blue thing, which we then connect this through and this piece which then connects into a brick like this with a hole in it slide down to the end another brick with a hole in it slide down as far as that goes grab our base we rebuilt boom together awesome uh, next we essentially align this with green bricks. Um, so we have the light green bricks like this, and then we have dark green one piece bricks that go along here, because that builds an alternating color pattern. It's supposed to look like a creeper. Okay, from there. We get our flat piece connected across like this. And then we need to, well, it's not a flat piece, but you know what I mean, our flat thing. Uh, then we need this, which is a large flat green piece. Then we need a single small dark green. Is it that dark of a green that we're supposed to do? I guess so. That looks almost like black. Was there a lighter green? Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to use that color. Damn it. Yeah. 
That's a problem. <laughs> Oof. Of course, it's the one spot that I really can't get into. Oh, what if we use a little fish? Get its little tail in there. No? Alright. They don't ever have this as an issue. What can get underneath? Okay. Awesome. Well, first of all, I don't have anything that can get in there. And pop that up. I really don't think so. I guess the question is, is that the darkest green? Because I guess we'll just go with it because I can't get it out because, well, I can't. See, I think the issue is it supposed to be this green? Not this green. Is there a spot where the darker ones do show up? I'm assuming. Later in the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's supposed to be the creeper's feet. So I do need this piece back. Essentially. I don't know how to get this unstuck. Damn it. Oh my god. I'm in the middle of doing a damn video. I really can't, like. Hmm. We're gonna need to take a quick break. Okay, so, got that piece off now. Let's do the correct colors. So it's a lighter green, not the dark green. Um, we do need this one piece here. Um... So now I gotta find another green like that one. Yes. Okay. So now this kind of alternates back this way. So the pattern's gonna start alternating itself. That's what makes a pattern, but still. Um, alright.
God, did I really fuck up another piece? Oh my God, are you serious? You gotta be kidding. Okay, so, I got it fixed. Um, I'm glad I was doing this video today. Take that. Um, I figured if I asked my mom that she could pull it because she's got longer fingernails, so she can sort of get underneath them. Pull it up. So I'm like, I was like, I gotta go ask her. And then I had to again. And I was like, alright. Alright. Um. We need the darker pieces again. Not those, those are the other things though. Um, move that. That one goes in there. It's looking pretty good. Um, one more piece of that color. All right. And now we alternate once again. Lighter green going here. A single one gray piece down at the bottom. And the darker green here. Alright, we take that, throw that on there, looking pretty good. So from there, we need these, which we take and slide into there. Okay. Then we get these and attach this, whatever this is. Onto both ends. So this is what we got so far. Now that it's all together. Hello. There we go. Now it's all together. Awesome. Looking great. Uh, now, we go to the next piece. It's a black two piece. And then this. So, Do you have directions to redo this again, or do I have to make two at the same time? Okay. Wait, I need to make two of this. Okay. 
because I'm making four. These are the legs for the creeper. So what happens is I put this onto it, and then I get this little half angle piece, which we'll do here. We'll start building that out. Um, oh, wait, I need to go this way. Okay, how does that connect together with these? These connected together. Okay. So now I'm going to need these pieces here. And these pieces. So with that, I attach this. Oh, I do need one of these. So we do this. Attach that there. Oh. Attach that. Then that. And then this. So there you go. That's what we need. So we need to make another one of those here. Alright, one of these. Then we're going to do one of these. And then that. Okay. So then we need this piece going on here. Okay. And then we need solid black there. And then the lighter green that I accidentally used earlier on here. So we do that again. We make another piece with the identical thing to it. And black is here. Which then What are we doing? Hello? super confused. So we got this piece, like this, is that going into, oh wait, this piece, and then it's the leg, okay, and then this piece goes in back over here, and then that makes the creeper legs. So then the opposite pieces are to go in these two spots. This is the body of the creeper, basically, is what we're doing. So, same concept reverse, basically. It's the same exact thing, but reversed. All right, so as we progress along with this, I think we're doing doing well. There's not as many pieces left here on the table. We're definitely uh, getting somewhere, making the body and the creeper legs. I mean, how many pieces are in this set? One eighty four. So not that big of a Lego set compared to other ones. This is the second Lego build video we did. Uh, back last year we did a Lego Diva build for Overwatch, so. You know how it be. You do them gaming Legos, it looks like. I got this, I considered, I'm like, ah, that could be a good video for the day it goes up. Um, piece that I need. Well, this can go. Here, I know that. And so can that. Where is the green thing?
there should be one more. Here it is. Awesome. Wait. Wait, wait. You don't want that on it, do you? I got one step ahead of myself with that. Okay. So let's start with this one again. Because we messed that up. So. It's this way. Correct? Yes. This way, this goes on here. We're doing it, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just take that off for now. Okay, we get these two pieces, which one goes on each because this creates the leg for the creeper. Like I said. Then we put one little green thing on each side. And now we attach these pieces here. Creeper leg is coming together nicely. Then we do these. All right. Next up, we do the flat piece over each side once again. And then we do the light green and then the black. So there you go, light green and black, attach them into the part of the creeper's leg section. And now, the creeper has its four little feet. And there you go. It's the creeper. So. Next, we need to start building the head of the creeper. That's our starting piece. Hmm. All right, then we need this. This little piece here. Which then gets this little thing to snap into it. that once it snaps in will rotate on that block very nicely okay from here we start building out the uh, the head of the creeper so we get these green blocks all the way around it yes All the way around it, that goes. Uh, then we get the darker green on each side of that. Then that goes there. Then we get a tall red piece that goes here. Then from that, we need what? This? And then we put another one of these on top of that, which then that overhangs here, lining up with the red bit of that. And then we stack it all up one more time around here, here, 
here and here. Then we get the piece that looks like a creeper face. These two flat blocks which have that printed on it. And then we have that. And that creeper head made. Next we take and put Wait, what? Oh, we flip this up. What? I don't know what the point in that is. It says to... Put that inside of its head. But I don't know what it is. I, I don't really know why I'm doing that, but... There's a little... Thing in it. Uh, okay. Either way, we now then attach the creeper head to the body, which it rotates, and then we can move its leg, like I said. So that's pretty cool. Overall, we got a little creeper. We'll put him over here. Now it's time to start building our ocelot. Or cat, whatever one you want it to be. It does say ocelot in the box, but the cats and the ocelot seem very similar to each other in the game. Basically, the ocelots are untamed cats, which you find in jungles, I believe. Never seen an ocelot that's in the cats, though. Plenty in my base if you have ever watched the Minecraft series on the channel. You will know we got many, many cats. Okay, so we need the darker brown piece here. Because there's darker brown and there's lighter brown. As you can see, we have two different colors with the brown in it. So we want the darker one for this piece. Let's take another green piece and then we're going to get the tan you stick them together, stick it here onto our cat. From there, we take this angled bit, stick it on there. Okay, after that, uh, starts being done. Uh, we need to find this little piece, which is cool. Then we take this and stack that on top. And then we grab another one of those and stack it on here. Then we take the lighter brown once or lighter brown this time instead of darker brown. Put it on that side. We put the yellow piece outside here. Then we take and put both of these tan bits on here. From there you're gonna get two flat pieces like this. Stack them on there. Then we get the yellow. Stack it like this. Okay, then we get the brownish piece, or the beige, whatever the hell color this is, sand looking thing, put it there, and there, light brown goes there, two more flat, I'm thinking this is going to go sideways like this, because this is not going to be this tall, I mean the cat's not going to be as tall as the creeper, <laughs> okay, then we get the dark brown, and then the yellow, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Yeah, oh, this might be the body. Yeah, this is going to be the body. 
and then we're gonna put flat pieces on it, it looks like. Okay, so then we get to this page where we then put flat or not flat but a too thin green piece and then a too thin beige piece. Then we put this piece on the front here, the flat angled bit once again. And then we grab a piece with the little angled thing on it. Where's that? Right here. Okay, and then we grab the white bit. We stick it like this. Okay. Once we do that, we want to start putting on these pieces here. We're doing this to make the design of the cat or the ocelot. Then we flip it around on this side. We do long yellow piece, long yellow piece, thinner yellow, or less long yellow piece, and then a brown. This is what it's going to start looking like. It looks like the body of the cat. Then we're going to do the feet. That is blue through bricks really quick. Uh, then we go to the feet. So feet will be what? I'm a, yeah, it, it, it's the feet it connects. Huh? All right. So we take one of these. Oh, so we're doing two at a time. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're going to do this. Go like that, make sure we're doing it the correct direction. Don't want to be almost done with the bill and then have a little mistake here at the end. All right, that's the feet. They attach on here like so. feet of the cat. Looking pretty cool, gotta say. Oh, and then by having these bricks, it makes it look like that. So it looks pretty nice overall so far. Uh, on to the next page. We need this. I'm gonna do the piece like that, like that, and then like that. Do the white there, then the yellow piece like this. This is going to be the face of the ocelot. Then we get the other brick like that. Okay, on here, one of these has a face of a cat, just happened to be the right one. Put that there. Then we'll put that there. Okay, then. There's one with a little bit of brown on it. There's your cat head. Uh, and then you want to attach that to here. And you can put the fish right there. So it has the fish in its mouth. Then we attach the head. Oh, I already did that. Huh? Oh, yeah. Next thing we're gonna do is its tail because the cat is all complete besides its tail I'm not sure I feel about its feet but hey oh wait that was a little less weird with his feet <laughs> okay next is the tail we're going to start with this one piece. Okay. From there, we attach this and this. 
and do the flat piece on there. Separately, we get one of these. Get the attaching bit there. Beige, brown. Connect that to the tail. It does get a flat piece on it like that. And then there you go. That's a cat with a really big tail. <laughs> Wait, you can get a pig? A zombie, a baby zombie riding a pig? Wow, look at all these sets. Hello? You mean like a sand temple? Oh, this is pretty new too. It has the uh, pillagers in it, which didn't come out that long ago. You got bamboo. Pandas eating bamboo. Hmm. I like it. There's a lot of cool sets. So. I turned it the wrong way, huh? There you have it, though. The Creeper and the Ocelot. Of course, in the game, the, uh, the cats. No, the Creepers are afraid of cats and Ocelots, so. Kind of cool they put them together. Made a little set based off that one little thing. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.